Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I love going to New Orleans and whenever I go, I have to eat some beignets. So today we'll be recreating the infamous Cafe du Monde beignets, but we're gonna make it easy, delicious with some dipping sauces, so keep on watching. The first thing we're gonna start with is a box, a busted box of Cafe Dumont mix I got from Amazon. You can clearly tell they were kicking my package or something, but we're starting with that. I am sure you can get it from other stores or so. They sell it all around in NOLA, so I'm sure you can get the box from somewhere else, but I am taking two cups of flour, the beignet mix flour, and we're about to mix it up with some seven ounces of cold water. I just took some water from my fridge, so make sure your water is chill. And we're just gonna stir and just stir this thing up until it is blended and mixed. So make sure you mix it, mix it, mix it, yes, until it's nice and solid. Okay, when we're done, just put it on the side. And next thing we wanna do is on a clean counter, make sure you clean it. We're just gonna put some plain flour. So this is plain flour, not the beignet mix because we're about to knead our dough. Make sure you get all of that beignet mix off the spoon because we don't waste over here and that's a whole beignet on that spoon right there. So take all of that out and now I am attempting to knead my dough because we want it to form a ball so that we can roll it out later. So right now my dough, I noticed it was so sticky so I just added more of that plain flour so that we can continue, continue kneading our dough and then later on we can roll it out. If you have been to um, New Orleans or you live there, what time do you, you like to eat your beignets? Because I have realized I have been there consecutively for the past three years. And every time that I go, I always go to eat my beignets at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Because I feel like fried food just tastes hit different at 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, once your dough looks like a pizza dough, just put it on the side and now I'm just adding more of that plain flour to our surface that I can start rolling out our beignet. So the instructions um, said to roll out the dough to one eighth thickness. That just sounds really complicated and like a lot of math. I feel like you need a ruler or something for that. So I just rolled it out until it was really flat because that's what we're going to do because that's what's easy. So now I decided to use a pit, uh, pizza cutter instead of a knife to cut my dough into um, a square because I realized that um, using a knife stretches out the dough. So if you have a pizza cutter, Use a pizza cutter instead to get those nice straight lines. If you don't have a pizza cutter, just use a really sharp knife. I think that will do the job. So now I'm just cutting my dough into squares. The instructions um, ask to cut it in two fourth squares. Again, I'm not doing geometry, so I just cut it like I wanted it to be. So I just cut it anyhow and made these nice squares. So now um, I was heating up my oil. So my oil, I had the temperature to check it. It was 370. So once it's at 370, it was like less, I had my fire on less than medium heat, a little bit less than medium heat. So now I'm just adding my beignets. I put about four to um, five squares and I in the oil that I'm using is vegetable oil. So once you put the beignets, um, in the oil, you want to base all of the beignets really quick. You want to make sure you like what I'm doing right now, just base all of the beignets so that they will puff up. If you don't do this step, you're going to have really flat beignets. So make sure you do that on both sides. So 
So once it starts becoming golden brown, I'm just flipping my beignets on the other side. And I'm just going to keep on doing the same thing. And once it's nice and golden, I'm just using this really big, it's not a spoon, it's something. I'm using that to take out my beignets. And I have a tray on the side. It's a baking tray because I don't want my beignets to um, sweat. Now I'm just going to drizzle some honey on my hot beignets. I saw Tiana from the, Prince, uh, from the Princess and the Frog doing it, so I decided to add some honey to my beignets, and they're delicious. Now I'm going to be using confectioner's sugar, and just throw up, just put a lot of sugar, just drown your beignets in sugar. I'm actually going to add more sugar after this, so just drown it. And now I'm using this nice cake tray to just um, layer my beignets. I am using three different sauces today. The first one is my mixed berry jam. Then I have caramel. And the last one is hot fudge, but feel free to use any dipping sauce of your liking. This is the final result. I added my dipping sauces and then I added some fruits because I am trying to be healthy, okay? But if you love this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much and bye.